everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Hydro's Garage. This week, we are talking about Hydrosilex Glass Cleaner. This is one of our more popular products. It's truly an amazing formula. It's designed to be a streak-free glass cleaner. And today, I'm gonna walk you through how to use the product on this awesome Alfa Romeo 4C Coupe. This car doesn't have a lot of windows on it, but the glass cleaner will really come in handy to clean up a lot of the streaking that's here on the windows from washing it. There's a lot of fingerprints on the inside of the glass. Um, Hydrosilex glass cleaner was basically designed to be a super easy to use, user-friendly formula, just like the rest of our products, where it's very easy, you spray, you wipe, and it's designed to be streak-free. A lot of glass cleaners on the market pro uh, proclaim or claim to be streak-free. However, when you spray it and you go to wipe it, it doesn't actually always clean the glass, and then you have to go back and forth, back and forth, and then you pull the car out into sunlight, and you're like, wow, there's streaks all over the place. So. This product is really, really designed uh, to make it easy for you to be able to clean the windows on your vehicle. And I know that sounds crazy, but not all glass cleaners are the same. Um, ours is also infused with a ceramic technology, which is really cool. So what this product does for you is when you apply it to the outside glass of your vehicle, when it rains or during inclement weather, it helps a lot of the water bead off the windshield a little bit easier. So it increases your clarity or your optical clarity uh, at nighttime or in the rain when the weather is bad. So it just helps with, um, like I said, water beading. Um, it's a really, really cool technology. Helps the wiper blade roll a little bit easier over the glass. So really cool ceramic infused technology. And if you take a look of, uh, at the windows on this Alfa Romeo, you'll see they're a little, little streaky, a little dirty, a lot of fingerprints. Uh, it was previously washed. There's a lot of marks here from the inside of the window uh, housing. Um, and so I'm gonna walk you through how to use the Hydrostatics glass cleaner. So some things to look out for and how to properly use our glass cleaner. Step number one would be to make sure that the car is not in direct sunlight. You might say, well, I don't have a place to put the car without direct sunlight. That's also totally fine. The thing that, that's most important about using glass cleaner and having a successful experience with the product is making sure that the glass is cool to the touch. When the glass is hot, when the product is sprayed onto it, it causes it to flash faster. So when you go to wipe it, it doesn't always fully wipe off. And if it does, it actually leaves a streak because the product is evaporating faster than you can wipe it off. Uh, so what that does is it creates those kind of lines back and forth. Then you pull the car out and you see it in the sun. And you're like, oh my God, there's so many streaks on my window. So that happens because the glass is hot, the product dries and it gets very streaky. Um, when it's cool, it really helps the product operate the way that it's supposed to. So just make sure that if you're using the glass cleaner, it's not too, too hot to the touch. It should be nice and cool. Um, second thing you want to make sure when you're using the glass cleaner to have a successful install with it is, is that you don't want to use paper towels or anything like that to, to clean the windows on your car. You want to use nice, high quality microfiber towels similar to the ones that we sell here at Hydrosilex. These are our 360 GSM, uh, 16 by 16 microfiber towels. And these are laser cut edgeless. So they don't have bindings on the edge or anything like that. Um, so basically what you would do is you would take the product and it's a, it's a very easy application. Uh, you simply take it, you adjust the nozzle on it, you do a very light mist, that's it. You don't use a lot of product, it's a very, very fine spray. The more liquid that you have on the windshield or the glass, the harder it's gonna be to remove it. So as you can see there, very light mist, nothing crazy, that's about half the windshield. You take your microfiber towel, and then you just simply go up and down like this. As you can see, it's drying and flashing very nicely. You flip the towel, go to the dry side, work back and forth, just like that. And you're pretty much clean. That's it. It's as easy as that. If you see that there are some marks left, you know, you can always go back and run over it, but uh, it's, it's a very user-friendly product and you can see there's no streaks on it. Everything that you're seeing here is actually on the inside of the windshield. So that's where we're gonna go next so I can walk you guys through how to clean the inside of the windshield properly which is the same steps as what you do on the outside, but I just wanna show you the before and after. Now we're inside the Alfa Romeo 4C and looking outside of the windshield, I just see tons of streaks, tons of marks, um, and it really is just kind of annoying to look out because when you're looking out the window and you see all that contamination on the glass, it just, you know, you lose focus and it's not as clean and clear as it can be. Uh, so once again, when you're applying the, the glass cleaner inside the car, you just wanna make sure the glass is nice and cool to the touch. Um, you wanna hold the spray bottle very far away. So what happens is if you spray it too close, um, it's gonna let out a lot of product and then you're gonna soak the windshield 
windshield. So then you're going to have to go back and forth a lot to remove excess product. So uh, my number one uh, tip to installing the product successfully would be to take the bottle, hold it a little bit further back just so that you have a good distance between you and the glass. And then you take it and do a very fine mist. So nothing crazy. One, two, that's it. Some got on the steering wheel, totally fine. It's, it's safe, it won't cause any sort of damage there. Um, and if you're taking a look at it from the outside, you'll see that it's truly not a lot of product that I've applied. Then you take the same microfiber towel, you apply some pressure, buff in a circular motion. So you work the outer edges first, then you come back to the middle. Come down around the edges as well again, top. Make sure there's no fingerprints. And boom. So now we have a very clear uh, windshield and I can see the reflection of the dashboard now, which I couldn't see before actually. And it's pretty much as simple as that. Um, there's not too much to it. It's a very, like I said, easy to use product, very user friendly. You don't have to go back and forth wiping a million times to make sure that there's no streaks, there's no extra product. You saw very light mist, quick wipe, good to go. Um, the thing that makes this product easy to use is actually the microfiber towels. If you didn't have good towels, it makes it very, very challenging to successfully clean your windows. Um, so I would highly recommend that you're using a clean microfiber towel. Make sure that if you're using a microfiber towel that you've cleaned the car with before that there's no contamination or other products on it. A lot of my customers, what happens is they'll use microfiber towels from like a bin of towels that they have, for example, but they use those towels in the past to clean the windows on their car, to clean the, the leather seats, um, and they've washed the car before, they did some sort of a wax product with it, so the towels are holding that grease, and when you go to clean the window, uh, that grease transmits onto the glass, creating a very streaky and unpleasant uh, user experience, and also just makes the product not work the way that it's supposed to. So uh, just make sure and be mindful that you're using clean microfiber cloths uh, that you uh, particularly use just for the glass on your car. Okay, so we're back outside the Alfa Romeo, and if you take a look at this driver's side window, you'll see a lot of water buildup from the inside of the window seam from when we washed the car earlier. Um, this is obviously very common, super easy to clean. So I just wanna show you once again how to use the glass cleaner because I wanna show you the appropriate amount of product that you should be spraying onto your glass. So this is a relatively small piece of glass. You take the glass cleaner, adjust the nozzle to a fine mist. So you want something like that, that's a very light fine mist. You take it one, two, that's it. You can see very light, very even application. There's no runny liquid. There's no buildup. It's not even running down the windshield. So then simply what you do, obviously close the door, take the microfiber towel, buff in a circular motion, just like that. Flip it to the clean side, back and forth, wipe your edges, and you're good to go. So now you know that the window on the outside is clean. So if you're still seeing some buildup, which I am there, then you wanna come around to the inside and repeat the step. So you take the product, spray a very light mist, take your microfiber towel and wipe. Looks like I got a little bit of overspray on the outside of the glass, which is obviously no problem. So now, once we know that the inside is as clean as it can be, we'll go back to the outside, wipe that down, and we will be all set. So here we go. Take a look guys. That is the finished product with the glass cleaner. As you can see, very nice, clean piece of glass. Um, no streaks, no marks. It's safe to use on tinted windows. So as you can see, this, this glass has a, a little bit of a tint on it. It's totally safe on, on tinted windows, ceramic uh, tinted windows. Any sort of tint that you might have on the inside of your vehicle, this product is completely safe to use on. Um, if you get a little bit of overspray, you know, on the outside of the car, it's, it's, a, it's a glass cleaner, so it's totally fine to just take a light towel, buff out any, any uh, overspray or any extra residue. And that's pretty much about it. All right, guys, so that wraps up this week's video on how to use Hydrosilex glass cleaner, a quick tutorial on our product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if I talked too much about the product, just wanted to give you as much information as possible. If you like this video, please like the video. Drop us a comment below if you have any questions about the product. Please tell us about your experience, and we hope to see you guys next week.